Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Alvoid. Look, what is the difference? I'm wearing a coat, mittens, and the leaves are on the ground and not in the trees very much anymore. Yay, it's fall. It's damn near the first of December, but it's fall. We didn't really have fall here. We went from running the air conditioner to running the heater. If you garden, there's really not a whole heck of a lot going on. So I guess we'll just talk about how the leaves have fallen. And I'm thinking, although Doug thinks I'm crazy and Crystal hasn't commented on it yet, it would be a good idea to rake up some of these composted leaves down here. Can you see them? Can we see down here? No, they can't see down there. Can't see down here. Well, if you got our more expanded um, broadcast that costs twelve dollars a month, you could see it. But I'll have Crystal do an artist rendering later on. Anyhow, there's piles and piles and piles and piles of, wheat, of leaves here that have been here for, you know, God knows how long. And if we rake, rake them up, we could take them home and use them for compost. It's something to do in the winter when there's nothing to do. We've been building paths. It's got nothing to do really with gardening, but we've been doing that as well. And we'll show you some. Are we going to show them some? We're going to show you some shortly. So around cut we were going up the driveway the other day with dale and we're coming back down and he's like now would it hurt your feelings if that cedar tree had to go and Doug's just like, that so this is an area where a chainsaw would come in handy so you want to go for exploratory we're just gonna go up this hill we feel like Lewis and Clark. Okay, we're up here, and it turns out there's not anything up here. I don't know what I thought would be here. A casino? That would be something. We just have never gone up this particular hill. So, we're going to go some more. Come on. <laughs> we found out the other day that white dog's name is what? Del Chisma. Del Chisma, which oh, means okay. the gossip. And slowly but surely, here comes the real dog. Hi, yo, baby girl. <laughs> okay, we're almost to the top. And then what we'll do is <laughs> We'll go down. We'll take the slide. Yeah, we'll take the slide. We're going to have a Krug Park slide put in. Maybe. Here we go. Watch out, there's a sneaky thing in here. Originally, it's been almost a year now, can you believe it? That we bought this place? Um. When we walked up here in the snow, the, this is where it stood the first time and I looked off and the view was better than it is now, but you can barely see a road back that way. And this was pretty much all open. You can see the hills. And all I could think was this would be a perfect spot to put a, a view on a house where you could sit here and drink a cup of coffee or a glass of wine or whatever and just look at the view. So this was in, what made me spend the money to buy this place and yeah here we are now the leaves have fallen enough you can sort of start to get the view in this winter crystal and i and somebody i don't know who are going to come up here with chainsaws and cut that cedar tree and those stumpy dead trees down to enlarge the view probably there and then over this way maybe a little bit as well and uh yeah that'll be cool so we're stoked about that. There we go. Y'all meet little dog. Hi, 
find your dog. We do not know his That's name. Beautiful. But he's little and he's a dog, so he's a little dog. I forgot to ask his name the other day. He's a very sweet dog, and one of his paws legs doesn't work very well. So he's a little campy, but cute. He's really warm right now, too. I don't know, a couple weeks ago, whenever Crystal, Doug was in Denver, and Crystal, me, and Aaron came up here and blazed a trail down here up to the back fence and to the left, back over to the pasture. And that's where we're gonna go now. It doesn't have a name yet. Maybe they can name it. Maybe y'all could name it right in. And don't name it Pathy Path Patherson because we already have one of those. Or Bodie McBoatface. Or Bodie McPathface. Here we go. See, we need to get up here with a blower. Didn't you bring it? Well, yeah, but it's in the pocket. Well, let's go get it. You also, I'm pretty it. sure you just went the wrong way. I was talking about bringing home. This would be so good. Come on, look at this. Right here we have like a dry crib that we'll pass again farther down. That's kind of cool. Crystal thinks this is where we're going to put the slide. The water slide, not the regular slide. Oh, yeah. We're on the very northeast corner of the property. I would like to show you the pen, but no one can find it, even though we've seen it. I believe it's under that pile of rubble right there. So, hey, y'all trespassing. Pete, we're going this way. Look at him just look at me. He's like, well, maybe. Come on, we're going this way. Let's go, boys. Come on, let's go, let's go. All you gotta do is get one of them to fall for it. This way. There was the dry creek again, so I guess in this small area we'll have to have a pool that you land in because that's not our property anymore. Or a murder, you know, whatever floats your boat. Let's 
So this is the back trail that we were talking about earlier and what we're gonna do now. Although the men find this foolish, women will understand. We're gonna weed eat up here where it's not very pretty looking and then we blow the leaves off the path because when the leaves are wet and it's hilly, you bust your ass. Plus you can't see, so if there was a deadly snake cobra creature that's the color of the leaves, it's just best to blow them. It really takes no effort whatsoever. It actually takes a lot of effort, but it's the extra step Crystal and I go to to make our forest pristine. We were doing very well. And then I ran the weed eater out of string, which I left at home. So there's that. That's all I had to say. Bob from Toledo writes, what is a good flower for outside in Toledo in the winter? None, Bob, none. If I were a Dude, I, I don't know how long this path is. It can't be more than, I count everything in steps, so three, 400 steps. And I, I'll never forget that day. I mean, we just kept walking and I thought, oh my God, we're gonna die. I think we actually walked from the corner all the way to the street though. We went to the top and then. We did, but I remember the very, very, very first time we did this, we didn't know where we were going. So we went down in this culvert thing. We came back up the hill over here. I mean, it seemed like we went up and down. We did. And when that was made up. Well, we didn't know where the pin was, so we were just trying to find the back of the place, and it seemed like the straightest line, but. Which is taking dang And deep. truly, you do. This is partially yours. Yeah. But it's just easier to come over here. Look at that. Look at that compost Pete's digging. I know, it's beautiful. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Let me get a handful of this for the viewing audience. It's just. Pete dug this up for us. That is, I mean, look at that. And it doesn't weigh anything. It's so fluffy and light and uh, what I would give to have a dump truck load of this, which I have at my house in Haslett or up on the top of the hill when the time comes. I guess I've got a lot of Pete digging in my future. Compost, free. Would you like to tell a story to our viewing audience? Not a bit. Why don't you talk about the chainsaw and how shitty it is so they know not to buy an Echo chainsaw? I'll buy an Echo chainsaw.
everybody have fun tonight. So, I got some firewood up here I need to bring down the hill. So I'm gonna take this old wheelbarrow. It's got a picture of Harry Truman on it saying, I endorse this wheelbarrow. Up this precipice to where the cut wood is. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna bring it down. Step one. So that about wraps it up for another fun day in Alvoid. Um, next time we come up, it occurs to us that maybe we should finish the wall and planning and stuff. Maybe you should hold on to Pete because I think a car's coming. And a car's coming. So that's what we'll do. Y'all have a very lovely Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much turkey. We have a 20 pound, 23 pound turkey for three people. That's, if you do the math, how many pounds is that a piece? Too many. Almost eight. Pete. Bye. Hurry, I'll hold on to him because that car's going to look bad out of hell. Perfect.